Check out our new CNC models, including our larger Fabricator Pro and our complete Greenville version 2, each offering the capability to use lasers and or fourth axis, with sizes up to 8 feet by 17 feet. Custom sizes are available. We also offer four options for purchase from plans to fully assembled machines. As always, you can purchase parts and accessories for your CNC machine and retrofits if you're building your own machine. In this video, I will connect the Y-axis driver to the Mach 3 USB controller and I'll test the motor's function to confirm that the wiring was successful. To make the wiring easier in this tight space, I'm removing the connector from the driver. This is the digital signal side of the driver for the pulse and step signals. I will use the same cable with three conductors, a red, white, and black conductors with a shielding to limit interference from other devices and wires. The signal wires will be wired the same as the x-axis driver. The black wire of the cable will go to the pulse negative and the direction negative terminals. The white wire will go to the direction positive terminal, the DIR positive, DIR plus. It's easier for me to add the white wire before I connect the other black wire between the two DIR and pulse negative terminals. Now I'm connecting the red wire to the pulse positive terminal. In this video, I'm not showing how I'm routing the wires through this machine since it's rather complex. And I want to make sure that I'm making the actual connections clear. So the other end of this cable is going to the controller. And I am going to connect the black wire and the shielding to the ground terminals, which you see here, which is already connected to the main ground of the controller. I'm using an available space on the bottom here, uh, and I will connect the ground across on the top a little bit later. From the same cable, I'm taking the red conductor and I'm connecting it to the YP, which is the Y pulse terminal. The other end of this red conductor, we connected to the pull or pulse positive terminal on the driver. The white conductor coming from the direction positive from the driver will be connected to the YD terminal on the controller. As mentioned previously, I'm connecting the ground terminals together. So the black wire that I've just connected to the bottom will be connected to the main ground of the controller. To power the driver, I'm going to connect another cable with a black and red conductor, two conductors at 18 gauge to a 36 volt power supply, as I did in the previous X motor videos. You can see I've already connected the motor wires, red, green, yellow, and blue, the red, green on the A coil and the yellow, blue on the B coil. I'm removing the terminal block to make it easier to connect the red and black power wires. The red wire from the V plus of the power supply will be connected to the V plus terminal on the driver. This can also be called the VCC terminal. And the black wire from the cable will be connected to the ground terminal on the driver from the V minus terminal from the power supply. Before I secure the terminal block back to the driver, I want to modify my dip switches to match the specifications for the motor. I think I'm setting it at 4.0 three or 4.9 amps and the micro stepping at 116th or 3200 steps per revolution. I've completed the wiring of the stepper motor to the driver and the driver to the controller. Now I can start testing the motion of the y-axis by using the left and right arrow keys using Mach 3. While doing this testing I'll always change my velocities and acceleration to determine the, the appropriate speeds and acceleration for this part of the machine, specifically the y-axis. I will determine the acceleration and velocity by listening closely to the motor sounds 
In Mach 3, this is the motor tuning dialog box, which can be found under config and motor tuning. And you'll select the axis that you wish to change the acceleration and velocity. Prior to changing the velocity and acceleration, you want to make sure that your steps per inch is very close to being what it should be, which means that you should use the pitch of the drive sprocket along with the micro stepping and motor steps per revolution and determine the steps per inch, a linear inch. I explain this process in many other videos and tutorials on the buildyourcnc.com website. For the motor tuning and the acceleration and velocity, I start out with a very low acceleration and a very high velocity so I can determine at what point the motor will stall during the acceleration, ramping up to its final velocity. This velocity will be cut in half and then I'll start to increase the acceleration until I hear a stall in the beginning part of the acceleration and then I'll cut that number in half. This will ensure that I have a good buffer of torque available so that the machine can be working and milling under load. When you're comfortable with the settings that you've set in the motor tuning dialog, make sure to save these settings before you close out that window. Each of the axis changes have to be set and saved individually in the motor tuning dialog. This concludes the wiring of the Y-axis motor, driver, and controller for the Mach 3 USB controller. Thank you for watching.